in our laboratory we work with uh, different um, different sources of stem cells. Laboratory of Research and Education Center of Pharmaceutics in some sense can be called stem cell incubator. Here they are extracted from various animal tissues. Stem cells are continually packed and adjusted to a certain amount, as much as necessary to use for treatment. Zinger is one of the first patients of biologist Elena Zakirova. With the help of stem cells, joint of the dog has been restored. The ability of freely run and jump has been returned again. This breed of hunting dogs and being without movement means to be dead for this dog. See this, of course, it was very scary, because it's clear that one jaw is broken. And when two jaws hanging down almost on the skin, it not seems nice to see this. This picture, not an ordinary person, but not every doctor can handle. On the radiographs, the dog's jaw which broken into two halves. You see, almost nothing is visible. The muzzle completely smooth. It doesn't even visible that it was broken. Here he is, lucky dog, it's Kira, has jaw assembled again. And they did it successfully, thanks to skillful hands of veterinarian doctors and stem cells from scientists of Kazan Federal University. Now the dog is almost like new, a year passed after surgery. Stem cells is quite promising method of treatment. That is, here we had a purely surgical treatment. Here we have implemented the cells almost in one puncture, even under local anesthesia. Only thing, we implemented him in his day for the collection of materials, and that's it. The cells were extracted from the fat tissue of a dog. They were differentiated in osteogenic direction, uh, for, formed in bone tissue. These are cells which are extracted from the abidose tissue of dog, but the regeneration of bones of animals, this is only the beginning. Now scientists of Kazan Federal University work on the possibility to apply the method of tissue and gene therapy for the treatment of humans. In the long term, it's solution to the problems of hundreds of people suffering from various serious diseases. This is why we're developing uh, new therapies uh, based on gene therapy and stem cell therapy to cure these uh, currently incurable diseases. Uh, for example, using uh, gene therapy we are developing new therapeutics to treat uh, different uh, human traumatic injuries, peripheral nerve injuries, spinal cord injuries, as well as uh, different uh, neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, uh, and many others. Among scientists using cells to heal fractures of bone discussed and studied more than one day, biologists from Kazan Federal University are not the exception. However, Kazan scientists still go their own way. Our unique approach is combination of uh, gene and stem cell therapy. We are genetically modifying uh, cells uh, and stem cells to, uh, so they would uh, gain new uh, properties and ability to participate in uh, different tissue regeneration. In addition, researchers of Kazan are working on proof that liver cells may also function as stem cells. The main project is uh, about is the study of hepatic stellate cells. They are thought to be also like original stem, stem cells of the liver. And in our experiments we show that they can uh, produce a lot of growth factors that can lead to hepatic differentiation of mesenchymal stem cells and can stimulate liver regeneration. And we suppose that th these results could be a promising base for the development of the treatment of different uh, liver diseases, for example, hepatitis and maybe even liver fibrosis. At this moment, proven researchers in the field of stem cells help scientists of Kazan Federal University to restore the health of animals. But they are sure that the methods are theoretically applicable to humans. 
So perhaps in the near future not only animals and their owners, but also relatives of sick patients will be pleased.